Hi, my name is Julian Redwood and I'm a visual artist in Victoria and this is my studio. It's a, a really nice bright space in Exchange Studios in downtown Victoria and I'm very lucky to be able to have movement, space for movement and being able to walk around and, and uh, work on some big canvases. Uh, I started my artistic life at art school as a teenager and straight from high school I went to Cardiff College of Art and I studied there under a couple of abstract painters and they were really inspirational. They taught us a lot about colour and line and gesture. In fact, we studied that over weeks, uh, working with mixing colours and paints and doing all sorts of work with charcoal and gesture and line. And it really got my interest, it really got my enthusiasm. And I think that was foundational for me as a painter to get that thorough grounding and all those skills. Um, and so, as I say, that was, that was the beginning of my art career. And since then, um, in the last 10, 12 years, I've become professional in my career and I've had my own studio. And this is a progression from those early days. So now I'm working on a solo exhibition for February. It opens February the 7th in Martin Batchelor Gallery in town. And it's a whole new series of my expressive acrylic paintings. And it's called Energetic Universe. And it's about the subtle energies, the seen and the unseen energies that we have within our human body and also in the environment. So it's the interplay between all these different energies um, that I want to show in the paintings. I'm very, very interested in the optical universe and also in the hidden universe as well, what we feel that we can't see. Um, so a lot of my paintings are involved with these energies and this series is all about the interplay between people. So more than one person and the ways in which we interact and the, the spirals of vital energy within our bodies. So in order to do this, I work in layers. And I usually start off with a background layer and then I might put three or four layers of acrylics down in various ways. And this painting that I'm working on now, I've got to the point where I'm going to be doing some palette knife work. Um, I sometimes use large brushes, sometimes use small round brushes, but right now I'm at the palette knife stage. So I've mixed up some paint and I'm going to do a little work on this painting. So um, I'll go right ahead and, and we'll see how it goes. Sometimes I work with more than one colour with a palette knife and so as I go I can adapt it to suit what I want. A lot of the movement lines and the strength lines I do with a palette knife and then I finish off with some expressive spiraling, usually gold lines to show the vital energy in the body. 
so there'll be a further layer on top of this when this is dry where I will put on the spirals and that will hold these transparent figures together. At the moment they're gestures but as I put the spiraling energies on it will hold them together. And there'll also be, these are um, beanstalks actually and the plants were growing up then in spirals and um, I want to be able to put that on as well. There's a, I'm working always from drawings and this was a pastel drawing I did uh, while I was in Italy and so there's some Italian type structures in the background and I think that um, a lot of the inspiration that I get comes from the original drawing. There's something that catches my eye and some vital movement or colour or expression that I want to get. Um, and in this case, it was the flaring shapes of some flowers that were really in the foreground and the fact that behind there, there was a, a garden where people were growing things.